Welcome back YouTube to episode 43 of our Dusty Survival Series. It has not stopped snowing this month, but that does not stop Dusty. He manages to sell an awful lot of lettuce in the final big sell of the winter season. Good morning loyal Dusty fans, it's February, it's 20 past 7 in the morning and we have $270,000 bucks left in the bank. At the end of last month we ended up with $323,000 and we've done a little bit of spending and I'll get round to showing you that later. Right now I'm just having a look at the status of these various greenhouses. We've got various bits of lettuce kicking around. Today is lettuce day, that's for sure. I just want to make sure that's actually the case because our prices are fluctuating wildly at the moment. And thank goodness there we are. February selling at $3,489 bucks for every thousand units of lettuce. We've currently got 40 and a half thousand units of lettuce. We are going to make some serious cash here. If I just do a quick mental bit of arithmetic, that is going to be approximately 140 grand, if not a bit more. And I think also, if I just drop down, it's time to sell some strawberries as well. Now, we don't have anywhere near as much of those. We have 10,000 litres and they're selling at 849. Again, a quick bit of a mental arithmetic, let's say 850, uh, 10,000, so that's 10. Eight and a half grand. So we should be making eight and a half grand here, uh, plus the 140. If we pull in 150 just on lettuce and strawberries alone, well, I'll be well chuffed. I don't quite know what's going on with the uh, the honey here. There's lots of things being tipped over. I don't know if someone's had an accident or whether we've had people coming in at night. It might be that we need to put some gates on for a bit of security. Generally, we don't have any sort of issues like that. There's no crime in Erlengrat, so to speak of. You get the odd bloke who gets drunk and causes a bit of a fracas, but yeah, no no sort of stealing or graffiti or damage. Right, we've also got some beer to get rid of and put in the warehouse. So there's a few things we can be getting on with today for sure. First thing I'm going to do is just grab a vehicle and head over to the mill because I was a bit confused at the end of last month why we didn't have as much flour as I thought we should have. And that was a, just a bit of a mistake on my part. We actually had loads of flour. But it was just backed up in the mill. It was supposed to be transporting itself automatically over to our warehouse over yonder. But it wasn't. It was stuck in the mill. So let me grab a vehicle and let's go and take a look at what we've got going down there. Now I'm in the Landini for a change. It's quite nice. Dusty's put some big old fat tyres on the back just to give us a bit of grip in this snow. So we've got no issues with moving things around and making sure we don't get stuck. Right, let's have a quick look what we've got in the mill. We may have to do a bit of moving off some flour today. Right, okay, so yeah, <laughs> there is a fair stack. Ask the boys to get everything out and get it ready for transportation. And there we are. Let's just leave the lights on. Let me exit the cab. Torch on. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of flour here. There are many, many boxes. Okay, so let's have a think about where we want to put this. Probably back in the warehouse. I don't think we're going to be selling any flour. We missed the boat there on that, unfortunately. However, there is something I do want to show you. Howdy, y'all. Well, ain't it a wonderful morning? Nice and crisp air. It ain't that cold. I think we've had all the snow we're going to have for a while. I really do love looking out at this landscape. It's beautiful out here. Well, the first thing I want to do is go and buy a trailer. You two got picked up that wonderful little truck. I reckon we can add a trailer to that, really get some hauling going. So I'm going to head down to the store now, pick up that trailer, come back up here, load up with wool. I'm just heading back out from the mill. You can see the main town of Erlengrat there on the right hand side. And when I get to the uh, next roundabout, sorry, the next T-junction, if I remember, then it's a right turn. At that point, keep your eyes open out on the left-hand side. Over the crossing here, up to the T-junction, and let's take a right. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just put my lights on full whack. We are coming up to a new business enterprise. 
So Dusty has taken some of that money, approximately 50 grand, and invested that with another little bit of cash into, that's right, a baker's. Just pulling him around the back here so I can jump out and take you on a very brief tour of the new facility. Right, torch on, just because it's still a bit dark here, early morning, and here we go. So, rear entrance, this is where we can drop off all of our produce that we need, all of our ingredients, and funnily enough, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to need a huge amount of flour. Now I wonder where I might pick some flour up from. Haha, <laughs> perfect, you can see my plan coming together. There we go, we've got the side entrances, tradesman's entrance, and at the front, a nice little area to sit down and enjoy some baked goods. A Danish, maybe, some pastries, and of course, some fresh bread. Now, really isn't the time of year to sit out here because it is bitingly cold with the snow, but, well, the sun is trying to peek through, as we can see, there we are. So we have ourselves another production chain, another way of making revenue, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I wonder where Dusty is. Right now, we could do with the truck and a way of loading on all that flour. I'm gonna head inside and pick myself up a new trailer. Now, normally, the YouTube guy goes through this process. But I reckon I'm big enough and ugly enough to do this myself. So come along now. Let's go have a look what we're gonna buy. Now I quite like the look of the Brandner. I think that'll go quite nice in our new truck. I can get that sprayed up in a nice maroon as well. Well, in the end, I went with the welder. It's only 11 grand. I could pick up two of these for the same price as the other one. Right, let me get hitched up now. Go and help out the YouTube guy. I'm just heading up to the uh, main warehouse because that is where the front loader has been left for the last couple of months anyway. If I hitch that on and then I can go give Dusty a hand getting all of those pallets of flour on the back and then we can get those into the bakery. Now I think we might have too much there but that's fine anything that's left we can just stick in warehousing because the warehouse is so close it's going to be easy to get things distributed as and when we need. Okay, there we go. There is the old front loader. I'm going to just drop the weight somewhere, and I think I'll drop the weight in such a way that I can just back straight onto that. Now I can just get myself all hitched up onto the uh, the loader here. Steady, steady, steady. Just creeping, creeping. There we go. Steady. And we're on. Let's check the hydraulics. Tilt, lean up and down right we are all good let's head over to the mill I just had a quick look at the forecast on my phone and it looks like we've got a bit of snow coming in again and I think this snow is gonna stick around for a couple of months the way it is now I could argue I could have come down here with the forklift but driving the forklift in this weather is a real pain and also I didn't want to drive all the way back to the homestead to pick up the trailer so this is fine we can use the old strap get things loaded onto the back of the wagon. Lovely job. Okay, I think I'm roughly aligned there. Let's get the straps on. Looking good. A bit of lift. Back up slowly. Yeah, and there we are. Right, leave this job with me. It's about quarter past eight. I reckon we'll be done in about an hour. I've got two left, I don't think we're going to get them on. It's uh, 10 past 9, so yeah, about 50 minutes, that wasn't a bad run. Just heading up to these last two here. I don't think I'm going to get these on, but let me see if I can strap them on anyway. There we go, there's that one. Not too bad at all. Let's get that nice and high. Big old fat tyres are really working here today, I'm glad we got those switched over. The snow is now falling. Yeah, so we... Uh, where am I going to put this? On the back, I think. Actually, no, I think we'll keep the, 
the centre of mass on the actual truck rather than the trailer here. Right, bear with me. I'll see if I can get this one up. And then I think we're done. Just jumped out the cab here because I can't really see what I'm doing from inside. I think that's fine. I'll drop that there. And I reckon I'll get the other one just behind. And then I can strap them all down. There we go. That's the view from inside. Right, let's undo that. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Right, last one. Let's get my arm lowered. There we go. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Hard to see what I'm doing here. All right, just an inch more. Think about there. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. I'm over. I think if I drop that there, then we're all good. Right, backing up slowly. Let's have a look. Yeah, right. Let me jump out and strap these on, and Dusty can head those over to the bakery. That's a mighty fine bit of load in there, computer guy. Give yourself a pat on the back. Cheers, Dusty, mate. I'll see you down there. Have a look at the tyres there. They are really under some weight. Huge amount of flour on the back there. I think there should be more than enough to get the operation underway and get some bread made. I can't wait. We are fully loaded, I think, in the old uh, bakery there. So let's uh, go down for the very first time and have a look at the production chain. So these are the greenhouses and there's the bakery. We're going to go to bread. Ah, so we didn't quite fill it up. Aha, but there is strawberries in there. I need to make sure that we aren't distributing to the bakery because we're just not going to use them at the minute because we're not producing milk, sugar or butter. That might be something for the future, definitely. But for now, we want to turn on bread. Let's do that uh, to storing, I think. Or do we want that to go to distributing to the warehouse? I'll leave it as storing just for now. We can always come and pick it up in the truck. And let's make sure this is activated. So for every two units of flour, we are going to get a lovely, tasty brown loaf to sell in the future. And if we jump across to the prices, bread, it's selling at the supermarket for four and a half thousand dollar bucks. Let's just have a quick look at the fluctuations. And the best time to sell is December. So not ideal in terms of us possibly making a million in the summer sale. However, if we are able to make a reasonable amount by the time that we come around to April, which I think is when we're going to be making our bulk amount of cash through the sale of clothes, then I might just see what we can get because yes, things are high in December, but they're not as terrible as they could be in July. So April, we might just see what we get there and uh, see if we can make a little bit of extra cash. I think this is a mighty fine operation. We got ourselves bread and beer. We could do with a bit of wine. And you know what? I reckon a bit of cheese to go with that bread would be absolutely divine. God, Dusty, listen to you. Divine, bread, cheese, wine. Are you all right? Well, I'm just getting into the flow of things down here, YouTube guy. Well, yeah, all right. You're just a bit more cultured than perhaps I give you credit for. You ain't ever ought to judge a book by its cover, YouTube guy. You should know that. Oh, yeah, that's true enough, Dusty. That's true enough. Right, we've still got some more hauling to do. That's the flour dealt with. I think, while you got the truck, head up to the homestead. Let's pick up the eggs and let's pick up the wool because clothes is where we're going to make our money, Dusty. Clothes. Hell yeah. Back down to Dusty's threads. Dusty's just going to grab all the eggs out from the old uh, chicken coop here. Oh, 
quite a fair few in there now to be fair which is brilliant get those down to the warehouse keep them in the chiller until we need to sell well that's all the eggs loaded on let's go grab up that wall now Spinnery, and let's get the eggs into the warehouse. Well, it looks like Dusty has taken a rather more scenic route than perhaps he would normally, and I think that makes sense in this weather, just taking it very slowly indeed, making sure he keeps the grip. The last thing you want is to smash all the eggs, or worse still, to have some sort of major accident. I think that's good driving by Dusty there. He said he was going to quickly stop off at Reds just to see if there's anything worth picking up in there. May as well get that into storage as well. And it certainly looks like, yes, there's a few there already. Right, I'll help Dusty load these on and we can get those into the warehouse as well. And there we go. Look at the thickness of the snow up here, it's insane. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our three pallets of clothing there and a whole raft of eggs. We'll just leave them out here. The guys inside the warehouse will bring that in shortly and then that'll be nicely stowed away until we're ready to sell. Now, I would like to get these uh, crates of beer into the warehouse, that's for sure, because production chains will hold until we get some space for them to, uh, to load out to. So I'm gonna grab the forklift and get that underway. But I think the next most important job after that, of course, is to make some money. We're all in this for business, ladies and gentlemen, not just for laughs. So let me get my torch on out of my pocket. There we go. We've got lettuce here. We have got lettuce on the other side. Actually, just while I'm here, check. Yeah, just want to make sure things aren't freezing up because obviously we need the water to keep running. Anyway, I digress. We have lettuce over there. We have lettuce behind this one. We have lettuce here. So we need to get these onto the back of the trailer as well. And then we need to go over to the warehouse and just see what we've got in stock. And if you remember rightly, we've got hell of a lot of lettuce. In fact, we are talking, not including the stuff that's outside, 40,000 litres of lettuce, which equates to... Let's have a quick look. 81 pallets. Right, okay, I need to do some quick maths here. The truck will take 16. The trailer will take 16. So we're working with 32 around. 32, we've got 81 here plus approximately 20 outside. So let's say we've got 100, 101 pallets divided by 32. We are looking at around 94, 96. We're looking at just over three rounds back to the supermarket with the truck and trailer. That's fine. I just wonder whether or not we should have bought a bigger trailer. No, no, I think that's fine. I think that's something we can look at in the future. I mean, when we start to get really big, then I think we'll have to invest in a separate truck and trailer, a nice semi. But for now, let's just do this with the equipment we've got. Wow, well, there we have it. If you've ever wondered what 81 pallets of lettuce look like, well, here you are. Job done. Satisfaction guaranteed. Look at that. That is a huge amount of lettuce, and we have got to get this all sold today for some massive, massive money. Right, let's get the uh, trailer, let's get the truck, let's get loading. Gus is going to help uh, load up the uh, beer first, get those in and out of the way. We don't want the beer to freeze, and then we can start to think about the, uh, the lettuce, because that is going to be one hell of a job. Now Dusty, do you want to get the forklift or should I? Well, I reckon we leave that where it is. You won't get no traction on the wheels of the forklift. Go grab the Landini and let's use that with the front loader. But will we slip it and sliding all over the shop in the old forklift? Let me go grab the Landini then and I'll see you back here shortly. This snow is not letting up. It is still coming down. 
half past two in the afternoon. I think selling this slot is going to be the last job we do. But I'm curious to see what we get. What was my estimate in opening? I think 150 grand. That would be lovely. We've also got the strawberries to get rid of as well. That's all good. That can all go down to the supermarket at the same time. Slippery getting up this hill here. The ice is starting to settle in as well. Okay, let me help Dusty get these loaded. That's everything from this side. Right, let's get the truck moved around to the middle and we can get all those loaded on as well. Right, we are done with everything by the greenhouses, as you can see. Now it's time to start loading on all of these pallets that are outside the warehouse. And looking at that lot, it's going to take me a while. But for now, I think we've only got to get about six or seven more on the back, and then Dusty can do his first run down to the supermarket. Heading off for the first one here. There we go. Let's get that strapped. Oh, hello, I appear to have two there, that's fine, so it's going to be a bit difficult to get on. Well, that's okay, we got those on. I think there's space for one more, just in that back corner. There she goes. And there we go, trailer at the back with 16 pallets on, truck with 16. Let's get these strapped on. Right, Dusty, over to you. I'll see you back here in a moment. Well, why don't you take a look at that? Looks like some of our old tomatoes didn't make it into sale. I'll give them a little shun on now. There we go. Got those sold. Little bit of bonus there. Yep, they're all good. Let's get the lettuce on. Get some money in the bank. $6,000 box. Now that ain't bad at all. Now just while Dusty's uh, dealing with all the selling, I've just had a bit of a tidy up. Got everything stacked up nicely. Much easier to get things loaded on. In fact, some of the top ones we could just lift on by hand. So the whole process is much quicker. Just easing forward with this last pallet here. And I think there, I'll just drop that down and off. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Four lovely big piles of lettuce all ready to be sold. And would you believe it? Another couple have come out. So we'll grab these up just to make sure we get them sold. No point leaving them in the warehouse for a year. Brilliant. Dusty should be back any minute now, I would expect. And there we go. Dusty is done for loge number two, heading off towards the supermarket. Probably another $46,000 bucks coming our way, but I think that's perfect. While Dusty's on the road, I thought it was a good time to have a look at the state of our animals. So we've got good food, lots of grain in for the chickens, so they are happy as you like. Uh, if we just scroll down, let's just have a look at the sheep. Wow, okay, they are out of grass and it's snowing, which means they're not very easily going to be able to get any food. I think we're going to have to deal with that. We do have, I think, one or two bales just left over up there, which we can chuck in just to keep them happy. So we will deal with that at some point. But right now, Dusty is about to drop off his second load here. And then I think we've got one more and a bit, if I remember by my maths. $46,000 bucks again. This is all good money, ladies and gentlemen. That's nearly 90 grand there straight away. Hey, video guy. You want to drive a mass load? Yeah, I don't mind if I do, Dusty. I like driving the truck, so yeah, I'll jump on board. Right on. I'll load up for you now. 
Right, well, this is almost the last load. I think this lot here will just go on the back of the truck. I don't think we need to take the trailer down. But for now, I'm going to get this into the supermarket for pretty much the last time today, bar one. Oh, I cannot believe this weather. I mean, to be fair, we had a very mild winter last year, if you remember. Very little snow indeed. This year, it has absolutely pounded it down. Ah, uh, it's not too bad. It's 20 to 5, looking at the clock on the dash. It's been a long old day, actually. But then it always is. I'm so glad we picked up this truck, though. The truck and the trailer we've needed for so long, and it's been an absolute godsend. Steady on, mate. God, maniacs driving on the snowy, icy roads. I can't believe it. Right, very nearly here at the supermarket for the third time today. Bump up this big ridge of snow. Right, let me just have a look at my mirror there. I want to get the trailer unstrapped. Good. Now let's ease ourselves forward. HUD is on. Right, we are about to start selling. Checking in my mirrors there, you can see the crops disappearing into the supermarket. The money's still going up. And there we are, another $46,000 bucks. And actually the price has dropped ever so slightly. So things are changing very much on the fly here. Right, let's head back to the warehouse, get those last few pallets of lettuce, and let's count up our total. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Half past five, looking at the clock on the dash. I unhitched the trailer. We won't need to drive that all the way down. That's just a waste of energy and effort. Last one then. It really is getting dark here. I quite like operating at night. It's quite relaxing. If you're not doing anything major, it's quite nice to just casually cruise around. And certainly in this town, when it's snowy and it's dark, there's this kind of almost eerie silence. But I love it. Get the HUD on, backing up. And there we go, we are selling. And what do you reckon we finish at? 410? Possibly. I can't remember what we started with. Will it be near the 140,000 mark I estimated? 13 grand, nice. We've still got the uh, strawberries to sell, and then we're going to wrap up the day. Well, it's been a long old day actually. It's uh, crept up on us. It's about, I think about half past five now. Uh, maybe quarter to six. The strawberries are on, as you can see here. All ready to go. Looking good. So, this is the last major sell of the season. Then we've got a couple of months and then it's closed, I think, in April and May. And that is where we make our big money. So, if we manage to hold on to the cash that we've got in our bank just for a couple of months not only will we gain a little bit of interest but actually we might hit our one million dollar buck mark sooner than we actually anticipated which will be lovely well dusty's just head off i've just seen him leave in the landini so he's done for the day and i'm going to see him back at the homestead shortly but for now this is the last sell get some strawberries sold the snow I know I keep going on about it, but it has continued to keep snowing, so I'm having to really take it easily out here. When we get on the road, it's not too bad. The gritters have been along, and they have gritted the roads quite nicely. They're really geared up for cold weather here in this country, but yeah, it's worth just taking our time when hauling this amount. Especially here, this is so slippery, we could lose the back end very easily. Way. Right, the cash is counting up. I think we're going to make 10 grand here. Last few with the HUD on. And 8 grand. So actually, not too bad at all. That is what I estimated. Let me go and do some quick maths. Let me go do some quick maths whilst I drive back in the truck. And let's see what we got to. So, 
by my reckoning, we made approximately a hundred and sixty-seven thousand dollar bucks. That's not bad at all. Right, let me just have a quick look in here. I want to see if we've had any bread made today by the team. Yeah, I don't think anything has been done yet. Okay, that's fine. Bread will be on its way, trust me. And when it happens, well, we'll sit down and have a loaf. Haha! <laughs> Anyway, I've really enjoyed this month. We've made some big money again. We are currently on 420 grand, give or take. Next month, it should be a bit warmer. And yeah, we can see where we are, ready for our big sell in April. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure as ever having you on board. If you're liking this content, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, brilliant. You'll get notified every week when one of these videos drops. But until then, take care yourselves. See you soon. Bye-bye.